What a shameful, utter nonsense! Terrible second half performance by Chelsea Football Club! Terrible, terrible, terrible is an understatement! Can't even defeat West Ham United! Who was a man down? 10 men West Ham United we cannot defeat! And we are expecting to win the title it seems! We are expecting to win the title! Forget about winning the title! Think whether we can finish top 10 or not! Top 10 or not! Seriously, embarrassing performance again half! Second half and Kaiseido, 150 million man, terrible, awful, worst debut for a Chelsea player ever, ever. It was the worst Chelsea debut by a player. Seriously, completely awful, simply awful. Pakwata simply dominated him. Suchek simply dominated him. Then Fernandes whoever has come in simply dominated him. He has done absolutely nothing. My ratings for Kaiseido's debut performance is minus zero to the power infinity. Absolutely nothing he has done. Completely nothing he has done, seriously. And our team main setback is that we cannot defend set pieces. West Ham United simply grinned out, worked very hard and they were really much stronger, sharper and they were much hard working. They know how to defend set pieces and they defended extremely well. They defended extremely well and they worked hard really well. That's why they have won the Conference League and that's why they are European Conference League winner. And our team like this if you are playing, seriously, easy winning match or losing 3-1. First half we played really well, second half we are completely let down. Means new season has begun but the same old, old season, last season, hangover is still remaining. Still last season, hangover is remaining, God only knows what will happen. We are playing like this, like last season, how we are, same like last season this one was. First half we completely dominated, 400 odd passes we have given, 76% possession. In the half time, pundits were saying that it's going to be easy stroll drive for Chelsea. Easy stroll ride, West Ham is just not at it. See what happened in the second half, seriously. Means West Ham United after going a man down, they were more determined and they got more extra confidence. It looked like that. And our team became overconfidence. No real chance, nothing was there man in second half. Absolutely nothing was there. We are supposed to eat them up. We are supposed to chew them up and gobble them up. And on top of that, we cannot even defend set pieces. Starting 12 minutes itself, West Ham has put up the pressure. That Conor Gallagher, seriously, I don't know why he is not sold or not. Why is he not sold? God only knows. What, whose notes he has in the uh, board of directors, God only knows. Which board of directors notes he has or uh, staff notes he has or players notes he has or what confidential statements he has on his phone, God only knows. Why is he still at this club? God only knows. Seriously, he's looking here and there. Oh, like that is he's looking. When set piece ball is coming, he's looking here and like this he's looking. He's wondering where some uh, naked naked uh, means uh, striptease girls he's looking after in the crowd. He's not looking at the ball, he's not looking at the man. Since he's not looking at the ball or he's not looking at the man, it was an easy header for a Moroccan defender. It was an easy header for the Moroccan defender and he has scored the goal for West Ham. He scored the goal and it was 1-0 up for West Ham United. Seriously, after the first warning sign, he should have taken it. He should have bloody taken it and he should have taken it as a warning sign. And he should have looked after his man, he should have man-marked. But unfortunately, he cannot man-mark and he has done absolutely nothing. Fuck all he has done for Chelsea Conor Gallagher. He deserves to be sold. His contract should be terminated. His contract should be sealed. Means his contract should be terminated completely, this uh, Conor Gallagher. He should simply fuck all from this club. He should simply get lost from this club. He has done absolutely nothing, man. He has absolutely not done nothing. After trailing by one goal, we have given a good comeback. It was a good comeback. Seriously, that Chuchukawa has scored a wonderful goal. Sterling was really, really well. He was just ripping apart Emerson. So it was looking like Chelsea is going to win this match comfortably. 3-1 it is going to get. Chuchukawa, that goal was wonderful, man. Wonderful. But... As luck has it, as fate has it, as destiny has it, absolutely nonsense, absolutely nonsense The Chuchukawa has got an injury and the injury list has gone on from 8 to 80 now. Means Chelsea players are infinitely injured, 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 injured and they are not just playing on the stadium, they are playing in the hospital. Seriously, our hospital bills will be greater than transfer signing bills or wages bill. It is looking like that. Our Players' hospital bills will be greater than wages bills. Wages of the players, like that it is looking on. The amount of injured players is there. I mean, seriously, unfortunately, this Chuchukawa has gone injured. And after that, the waste, ultra flop, disaster. 80 million Mudrik has come in. He has also done, done nothing for all he has done. He came in 
two clear cut chances he has got he has hit the ball sky he is slipping on the floor he is not even able to receive the ball in the second half absolutely no threat nothing it was easy dc pc for west ham united it was easy pc dc for west ham united to defend mutrik worst 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 this mutrik absolutely waste complete disaster is a complete disaster nothing manik is unable to receive the ball he is unable to shoot the ball he is slipping on the floor no threat nothing is there better than him was fonals better than better than him was bowden so what is the point of playing 80 million for this fakal player i really don't understand i really bloody don't understand what is the point of playing no means casual no understanding of the game no not determined to do something good for the, uh, good for the team or anything absolutely fakal over priced overrated mutrik overrated absolute zero 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 of a performance he was bought on to replace chuchukawa to make some impact and to continue the good form and he absolutely destroyed it he absolutely destroyed it absolutely bossed it absolutely bossed chelsea man absolutely bossed seriously shameful shameful they were just 10 men down man they were one man down we are supposed to win this match and after that we have considered two goals man we have considered two goals out of nowhere bloody that antonio has come in seriously he has exploited our two young defenders that disas and uh, colwill seriously he has exposed those two players absolutely got bullied by antonio and he has taken the shot and this brighton defender uh, uh, robert sanchez or whatever is thing he was unable to save you cannot blame the goalkeeper but seriously the defenders seriously should put on a challenge or do something on that commit a foul or commit something but they didn't commit any foul they got bullied and we have considered a goal and west ham has taken the lead after that we are supposed to come back do something make some impact or anything changes also pochettino has brought in none of the changes has made any impact or anything none of the changes and this kaiser was brought in to replace chilwell and he has considered a penalty he has considered a penalty and he has absolutely got bullied by paketa he has completely got bullied annihilated he has got seriously no impact he has brought nothing he was supposed to hold the ball what he hold what he held our, he just exploited our uh, defense he exploited our defense was time that uh, borden and that uh, fornal was easy, easily able to exploit that too they were one man shot two of them were up front and remaining all the uh, how many players wait remaining two players were up front and seven players were behind the ball seven players were behind the ball and still they were able to exploit our defense what defense we are doing seriously we don't know what kaisero has done really we don't know on top of that we are considering a penalty silly silly penalty we have considered and on top of that they have that paketa has scored the penalty and they have won the match 3-1 but seriously and on top of that our team is missing penalties our team is getting opportunities like penalties enzo is missing penalties who is our penalty kick taker nothing means this squad is completely unstable completely unstable it will take a hell lot of pochettino hell lot of any top class manager to get stabilized it will take a lot this season also be prepared to write off completely be prepared to write off don't expect anything seriously like this performance what like this performance 76% possession 400 passes still we are losing the match 3-1 we are losing the focus in the second half is the same last season is the same last season what are you expecting to win the title and all those things we are just having one points in the first two matches six points is a given we are having only one point other teams are having six six points we are 15th or 16th in the table how are you expecting to win the title or anything don't expect anything don't expect anything these players are too young these players are too inexperienced and these players are too casual and our own board is also there board is also there they are going to pay a lot of money extra extra money they are going to give extra extra wages they are going to give and give luxury to the players so that the players can buy cars so that the players can buy bungalows so that the players can buy shoes so that the players can buy girls that that only they can do next week we are going to play luton town relegated side luton town i don't have any confidence also whether we are going to get three points or not seriously we might draw also or we might lose also seriously i don't have any confidence after today's match all the confidence for the season has gone down the dustbin gone down the drains after having 76% position some three or four more shots extra after their opposition had one man down if you are not able to defeat them after completely dominating the game if you are not able to defeat them even after they are having one man shortage if you are not able to beat 10 man west ham united what confidence you are going to have next week what confidence absolutely for all confidence i have 
seriously and on top of that we are getting penalties we are missing penalties we are missing and don't blame the uh, that so check don't blame him our team it's our team's fault we missed the penalty we should score the penalty we should score the penalty even if encroachment happens or whatever he is behind right penalty is basically penalty is on front of the goal you bloody missed the penalty you were not able to defeat the goalkeeper so why are you blaming that he has encroached and penalty has to be retaken or whatever that is different debate you are not able to score the penalty our who is our main penalty taker after jorginho has left is not sure we are unsure of so what you are going to do god only knows this team is completely unstable completely unstable and today the commentators are giving big big statements saying that this chelsea team is very very young and pochettino is going to do something it seems something real means something strange he is going to do it seems something miraculous they are going to do west ham united is having paketa who is 26 years old eight plus are younger than paketa in the starting level like that they are giving like that they are hyping the plus stop hyping the plus stop giving statements like that seriously these are just impacting means these are all just rising the expectations of the fans and after the full time we are going to get full drenched and absolutely humiliated and battered like this it was a complete battered and humiliation that's it it was a complete humiliation and an insult insult after we cannot even defeat 10 man west ham united we cannot even defeat 10 man west ham united after dominating the match on anything no confidence up to the season just one points on the board liverpool match we have just got one point that was a good performance today we have got zero performance zero we have got upcoming match also no confidence whatsoever absolutely no confidence whatsoever keep signing more players keep signing and i really don't understand why the team the squad is not signing a striker why they are not signing a world class striker i don't know all the money they are paying all the things they are doing why they are not buying a striker god only knows 